Hey, 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 what's up YouTube? Back again with another video, it's been a couple months. Um, got my car behind me right here. I don't really know what to label this video. Maybe we'll call it Bye Bye M54, Hello M52. So we got a uh, M52 B28 on the stand here. It's a uh, iron block out of an E36 with a single Vanos. And this is gonna be the new power plant for the E46. Uh, we've been running M54s in this car for five years now. Um, gone through quite a few different reasons, oil pump failures, uh, spinning bearings, um, had one head gasket failure, never had any ring land, issue, ring land, ring land issues, but still had uh, some failures. And that was about the 400 horsepower, 450 horsepower mark. And we wanna kind of turn it up and have some reliability. You know? So making 500 and not having to worry about it would be pretty sweet. So we're kind of going all out on this motor. Um, I'm excited, um, it's expensive, but you know, hopefully it pays off. Um, so I'll do a quick little tear down. This is like a uh, E36 motor with 200 something thousand miles. I'm not really sure. It is absolutely filthy, but I need to pull the head off of it, pull all the uh, accessories, which they're basically off. I need to pull the pan, blah, blah, blah. Um, valve cover, harmonic balancer, and I need to get it down to basically just a crank. We'll call it short block, you know, crank, and the actual block itself, all the pistons, rods, that stuff needs to come out. Got another one on the uh, stand right here, right? This is another B28 E36 motor. This one was overheated extremely, uh, extremely bad. And I don't feel comfortable. Let me find the piston. I just don't feel comfortable uh, doing any machine work to that block because it would be a huge waste of our time if it uh, didn't check out. So here's one of the pistons out of it. This is a stock motor. Melted a uh, hole right through the ringland area. Uh, I think four or three, three or four out of the pistons are all melted. They're all rounded off on the edge on the exhaust side. So I don't feel comfortable using this motor. The crank is still good, I believe. <sighs> on the ground right here, we got a uh, an S52 E36 head with cams. So that's gonna be what we're gonna use. We're gonna go through and have this head taken care of by Andy over at A Star Fab. He's gonna do the uh, valve springs. I got some dual valve springs. I'll show you guys later. Dual valve springs, valve seals. Um, SBI valve train is gonna be supplying the valves for this motor. So they're a, uh, I think a Stellite coated uh, intake and exhaust valve and they should be, uh, should be great for the RPM. We're gonna be running through this thing in the power. Um, other than that, I gotta rip the uh, valve cover off. I mean, this video, I don't know where this, where this part of the video is gonna go. Um, maybe, I'll insert it somewhere when I pull out that 54, but I want to get to tearing this engine down just to make sure that we're uh, we're set. You know, we got to get started on this stuff early. Machine machine work can take a long time, so here we go. Alright, got the valve cover ripped off. Looks kind of rough. I'm not going to worry about that too much. We're not using this top end. What I do want to show you guys though, this is kind of neat. If you didn't know, this is how you pull out a BMW water pump if you don't want to pry it out. These threaded bosses right here. Put some 10 millimeters in them. And uh, let's see. Just like that. A little bit of water comes out, but uh, there you go. That's how you pull out an E36, E46 water pump. Well, you guys probably just saw me rip off uh, front of the motor. This can come out still. It's all gooped in there. The AC condenser bracket, the, uh, what's that thing called? The uh, AC pulley, harmonic balancer, blah, blah, blah. I got to pull off the Vanos unit now. It's kind of a little bit tricky. 
you gotta rotate this this cam gear, I believe that way as you pull it off. Okay, so I'm kind of getting carried away a little bit. I have all the timing components off. Um, got the Vanos off. It is over there with the valve cover. Uh, it's not too bad. You like rotate the motor one way until the this thing actually pops right out. Anyways, um, sorry, I'm getting I'm getting rushed. That's why there's stuff everywhere because I just want to get this head off tonight at least. Start getting the stuff cleaned up. So I'm gonna leave the cams in the head, kind of like that engine over that that head over there, just so I don't have more stuff lying around. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that. There's a couple of these tiny little E8 bolts down there. I just noticed this timing chain guide's actually broken, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna pull it all apart. And we'll see what the pistons look like. Got all the uh, head bolts loose. Garbage too. No. Cylinder one is rust. Can you believe this thing turned over? Let me grab the phone. What? Okay. I mean, I hope it cleans up. How does that even happen? I can't even focus. There we go. That's, come on, focus. That's pretty terrible. Man, look at that. Okay, let me clean that out. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh, there's the bottom end. Head gasket, paper. Still intact, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's get this thing pulled apart some more. All right. Uh, I think the last video I took was the pistons um, with the head off. Um, so I'll flip the camera around in the next clip and go over like uh, uh, the cylinder condition. I guess it does. The cylinder wall condition doesn't really matter much since we're boring the motor over. We're going to be doing, I think, 85 millimeter pistons or 84 and a half. Um, so we flip the camera around to show you guys. Man, this thing is dusty. So this is the cylinder right here that was super rough. You can still see. I mean, I can feel everything on my fingers right there. So it's definitely going to need to be gone over quite a little bit. So I think 84.5, these are 84. So it's 20 thou over. Um, just put a little bit of oil in there and ran it back and forth to clean it up. And then the timing chain got all snagged up down to the bottom. That's the next step tomorrow. I'll be pulling off this bolt, which I guess is a pain in the ass, and then pulling off the pan and start uh, taking out the pistons. Um, then I really, then I need to take that off, all these bolts off, tape off the top of the motor, power wash it, and then bring it to the engine builder because I'm not going to bring him this dirty old motor. 
another day, another BMW engine disassembly. Um, got a little bit carried away while it was heating up in here with my uh, salamander heater. I ripped off the oil pan, just a bunch of 10 millimeters, the windage tray that goes back here, and the oil pump, which is some 13 millimeters. So uh, next up, I'm going to start pulling out the uh, pistons and rods. At first, though, I need to get the uh, harmonic balancer bolt off, which is super, super tight. I'm waiting for a battery to charge right now. I'm going to try impacting it off. Um, it didn't work a little bit ago. Maybe a blowtorch, some heat will help. If not, I got to cut it off um, because I don't have a way to, like, lodge the crank in place. And I don't, the only place I can see to do it is on this tone ring right here. And uh, that's probably not a good idea. So I'll get with you guys in a little bit when I disassemble this stuff. Pulling the pistons out of the engine right now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anyone to catch me on the other side. So they've been falling on the ground a little bit, but not a big deal. Um, not really worth anything, so we're not gonna use them. So the rod bolts are E12, external torques 12. Got these ones loose already. You loosen them up and then you, uh, you, know, you smack the uh, bolt itself and it pushes the rod down a little. Pull off the rod cap. Now let's see if this one comes out fairly easy. This one's already a tough dead center. So, see, I've been using a little screwdriver with a plastic end to kind of bring them up when they won't. Hard to put my hand on there. So, let's see. There we go. That's what you don't do. If you're gonna keep the engine and the pieces, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm just checking all the uh, bearings and stuff as they come out. Um, this one looks a little bit worn right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but tiny bit worn. Put it all back together so we don't lose any pieces. And, uh, uh, that is the third one out. And I'll set up a time lapse. That way we can kind of speed this up a little bit. Don't mind me. Alrighty, got all the pistons and rods out. Um, kind of glad I never even tried to run this motor. Look how gunked up this one is. All the rings are seized in, in the ring lands. Um, this would have been a bad engine to run. It's completely filled with mud. Or not mud, but muck, you know, oil. Leftover oil stuff. Um, seems to turn over great, though. So I gotta pull all that junk out of there. Break clean it. All the, uh... All the crank surfaces look good. Can't feel anything with my fingers. I know that's like a dead giveaway. Some of the bearings do look a little bit worn, but who knows? That might have been from turning it over with all this trash in the oil system. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. I gotta start taking this off, flip the motor back over, pull off that timing cover, pull off that rear main plate and this crank sensor. I think that's it. I can load it in the bed of my truck and bring it to the shop all right that's it sorry i'm terrible at filming this stuff I get, I get ahead of myself a little bit i got the front timing cover off got the crank bolt off i ended up setting a blowtorch up on a chair to sit here and blast it for like 10 minutes straight before the impact would take it off uh easier than cutting it i guess motor is pretty filthy all the pistons are out i try to scrape off as much of the oil and rust and gunk as i could before i bring it to uh pressure wash tomorrow i'll probably tape off the top of the deck well, I pressure wash it just so nothing goes in the cylinders. Um, other than that, got to take off this little plate when I take it off the engine stand. The rear main plate's back here too, sit hanging out. But yeah, that's it. I'm excited to get this thing all cleaned up. Um, obviously, it's a little bit crusty over here, but hopefully a little bit of paint will take care of that. Um, some of that high temp VHT paint. Uh also need to put a doll back in here. I just noticed that doll's out. There's one right here. Must be stuck in the head back there. So 
think that's it for this video. Next video will be hopefully the motor assembled or maybe working on my ZHP a little bit, but maybe it'll be the motor assembled with like the uh, bottom end in it. And I'll work on, I've never put a top end together either. So I'll work on putting the head studs in and the, uh, the head and the gasket and everything. Gonna have some help from my buddies because I honestly don't trust myself. And then I can blame someone else if it breaks. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm gonna get better at filming. So these videos are a little, are a little bit more informational right now. They're just rushed and for fun. So peace out.